you bring that up, right? Because um, in New York, we call it Jew York, right? No disrespect to anybody that's Jewish. I love my Jewish community. But if people wonder, how does the Jewish community buy so much property, right? So I'm going to tell you what um, a Jewish investor who bought a lot of real estate in New York says. What they would do is when the baby is born, they're buying a cash value life insurance policy, which you can get two weeks out the womb, right? And now because of that cash value policy and they understand the power of compounding interest, mm. when, they, when they turn 18 and now they can have a hundred thousand, two hundred thousand wow. dollars, wow. right? Where they can use, it's better than a 529k plan to start either a business or purchase real estate. I had this uh, young guy, he was uh, maybe 19 years old and he was a Jewish investor. He wanted to buy real estate. So as a real estate broker, we don't show any properties without what we call proof of income, mm -hmm. right? So now he, he didn't have the income, but he said, I'll be back in three days. So I'm like, oh, he's gonna walk out and come back. Three days later, because they took a cash value loan, he had over $200,000 and he wanted to buy a building. And I yeah. said, wait, sir, how did you end up doing this? And then he explained in their community, this is what they do. They start them young with these cash value policies that build cash value over time. So now when that kid wants to buy property, they can leverage it by taking the money out and buy real estate with it Son. when they're young.